Time now for the Sierra Mist Amateur of the Week. This next comedian lists Captain Kirk as a hero for teaching him to be loyal to friends, respect for enemies, and those of alien culture. And when diplomacy fails, it's okay to hit someone with a stick. With that said, here's Justin Camp. So my name is Justin Camp, but all my friends just call me Camp, because white people suck at giving nicknames. <laughs> I spent a lot of time in bars, so I got to thank Columbus with this opportunity for starting that smoking ban trend that swept the state of Ohio. Give yourselves a hand for that. That ban is bull <laughs> And not because I'm not allowed to smoke cigarettes in bars anymore, but because everybody tried to act like it's some kind of a health issue. It's not a health issue, we're talking about a bar. Anybody who spends enough time in a bar to get lung cancer from secondhand smokes, a alcoholic. <laughs> That's already pretty unhealthy, dude. I mean, I'm not trying to say cigarettes are good for you, but when's the last time one of your buddies had a couple smokes too many and smashed his car into a telephone pole at 90 miles an hour? <laughs> I spent a lot of time in bars. Uh, I was in a bar over the weekend, and I ended up sitting next to this chick that I just met. After like 10 minutes of bullshitting with her, I mentioned my girlfriend so, you know, she wouldn't get the wrong idea about what was happening. And she looks at me with a straight face, I swear to God, and she says, you know, don't take this the wrong way or anything, but I just kind of thought you were gay. <laughs> I was like, what do you mean wrong way? Go ahead and tell me the right way to take that, because I'm pretty sure you just called me a <laughs> I don't know if there's another way to take that. That's bullshit. You should never assume a guy you just met is gay, unless he's wearing eye makeup and calls everybody bitch. Because if you're right, no big deal, but if you're wrong, you just ruin that guy's week. <laughs> and just because I get pissed off when strangers assume that I'm gay doesn't mean I'm a homophobe. I mean, there's nothing wrong with being pregnant, is there? But I wouldn't walk up to a random chubby girl and ask when her babies do. <laughs> That'd be rude. I don't have a problem with gay people. I respect gay people, because being gay is probably tough. And I don't mean just because you got to play with another man's <laughs> But think about it. Gays are the only group that society labels by the way they like to have sex, man. And that's fucked up. I know I don't want to deal with that. But luckily for me, there's not a well-known, widely used term to label people who download Swedish Lolita internet porn. <laughs> and then fuck a life-size stuffed gorilla their grandma got him at the zoo in third grade. And if there was, I promise you, you wouldn't see me marching in any pride parades. <laughs> I sure as hell wouldn't want to tell my parents about it, so quit picking on the gays. I watch a lot of movies with my girlfriend, uh, like most couples probably do. I actually finally got her to watch my favorite movie ever, the original Star Wars, and guess what? She fucking hated it. Big shock, right? But I was surprised when she told me the reason she didn't like Star Wars was because it was too unrealistic. But it was long ago in a galaxy far, far away. How in the f does she know what's realistic? <laughs> what is she, Stephen Hawking? And then, plus, meanwhile, her favorite movie is Forrest Gump. It's the most unrealistic movie ever made. <laughs> realistic Forrest Gump would not be an epic tale of love and adventure and friendship. It would be some at your bus stop yapping your f***ing ear off. <laughs> Telling you crazy stories and shit, like I showed Lyndon Johnson my butt talks. <laughs> no, you didn't. <laughs> no, I don't want any chocolates because I'm afraid they're little balls of your own poop. <laughs> if my girlfriend was at that bus stop, she wouldn't be intrigued. She'd be calling a cab to get the hell away from that creepy bastard. Find out more about Justin Camp at his MySpace page at myspace.com slash jbillycamp. Unfortunately, that's all we have time for tonight. 
but we'll leave you with highlights from comedians you can see at the Funny Bone Comedy Club. I'm your host, Mo from Blazer and Mo in the Mornings, and this has been live from the Funny Bone. They say that diamonds are a girl's best friend, is that true? They say that man's best friend is dog? <laughs> Who the hell negotiated this deal? She gets the diamonds, you get that hairy thing with fleas. And a dog. You guys tired of all the primary election stuff yet? Yeah, yeah, me too, me too. But I'm looking forward to the upcoming elections for one reason only and I'm not political or anything. I just like it when girls wear those I voted stickers, you know? <laughs> because that way, you know they're 18 for sure. <laughs> Hell yeah, free background checks, boom! Uh, speaking of music, I, was, I, I, I love R&B, I love hip hop, but I don't really listen to techno music, but on my way over here, I was driving, I was on the freeway, and I heard this song, you know, and it came on, it started out like acoustic, it was like, and then the beat comes in, it's like, and then the song's just, and I'm just rocking out, right, until I realized it wasn't even techno, I just drifted over to the rumble strip a little bit. <laughs> All right, on. Crazy. Uh, but, um... At my job the other day, this lady comes running in and she was so excited, you know, she was so pumped and she goes, there is free cake in the break room. <laughs> I was like, your excitement level is astonishing. Like, she acted like there was free money in the break room and all she's gonna get is uh, free diabetes and bad teeth. I'm 37 years old, figured it's time for the next big step in life. I bought an Xbox. <laughs> and that video game, Grand Theft Auto. I love this game parents don't like it. They say it teaches children violent behavior. But the makers of Grand Theft Auto say that their game promotes problem-solving skills. <laughs> and I think they're right because the other day I was having sex with this prostitute in my car. And I thought, man, I hope there's some way I can get my money back when this is all done. Another thing that's named wrong, I think, is uh, boobies. I think I know I said boobies. Come on. They should be called Yabies. How about that? <laughs> Why is boo in it when they're awesome? You know? <laughs> it should be Yabies or Harabies or standing of Abies, you know? <laughs> if they're not perfect, they're still okay bees, you know? <laughs> not great per se bees, but I'd touch them maybes, you know? <laughs> but today, I finally got around to, uh, to quitting a gym, which is like... I hate the gym. Like, I don't think I'm ever going back to curves. You know what I mean? Like, finally down to a B cup, but it's just not worth it. Am I right, ladies? Am I right? I'm right over here. That's for sure. I hate the gym. I live in the city, you know what I mean? I hate driving around looking for a parking spot for an hour and a half just so I can go inside and ride a bike that doesn't go anywhere for 20 minutes. That's all I do at the gym. Pretend to ride a bike, pretend to climb stairs, pretend to climb a ladder. Like, as long as I'm pretending, I'm going to stay home and watch TV, pretend like I'm at the gym, <laughs> pretending to ride a bike. Now! Get to... <laughs> <laughs> See? You're messing me up. Why are you over there winking? <laughs> you are shameless. Uh, if you thought I was going to get this in one take, it would hardly be worth coming here. <laughs>